What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and this is Simply Must Go and today I am super excited because today, today is New Wench Day. Excuse me? I, not E. I, not E. It better be. So Open Road 4 Wheel Drive reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing one of their wenches. And I said yes because, well, who doesn't love a good wench? And because, well, my Jeep Club has a couple of guys that run Open Road 4 Wheel Drive wenches and they love them. I also know of a couple other YouTube channels that run Open Road 4 Wheel Drive wenches and they love them. So I figured this would be a great wench to stick on Project Emo. And so that's exactly what we're going to do today. This is the Open Road 4 Wheel Drive Panther Series S2 9500 pound wench. In the box you'll obviously find the winch, but you'll also get two wireless remotes, a wired remote, the fair lead, and a hook. Oh, and a nice hat. Since it was just me and I didn't have an extra set of hands, my plan was to place the winch on its back so I could mount it directly to the winch plate. Next I got all my bolts set because I knew I was only going to have one hand to install them. Then I put the nuts into the feet of the winch. I'm mounting this to a Harbor Freight Universal winch mount. It's the same winch plate I used on Sue, my 1992 Jurassic Park Jeep replica build. I needed to mount the winch to the winch plate first because there isn't access to where the bolts are from underneath the Jeep. So at least for this setup, you have to mount it this way. After a little finagling with the bolts, they were in and I was ready to tighten it down. Next, I installed the clutch handle. Then it was time to install the fair lead. Honestly, if I had to do it again, I would have installed the fair lead first, just because there wasn't a ton of room to get my fingers between the mount and the winch to attach the nut. But I made it work this time. Using this clamp gave me an extra free hand. After installing the hook, it was time to mount the winch plate to the Jeep. Or so I thought. Alright, so I have run into my first issue, which is one I really was not expecting given the fact that I'm using the same winch plate as the one I have on Sue, and that was fine. But here's the issue that I'm having. The bolts that mount the winch to the bottom of the winch plate are getting in the way. They're sitting on top of the bumper, and they're hitting this little back brace, which means it's not seated correctly, which means nothing is lining up and I can't get the bolts in, I can't get all four bolts in, uh, in order to mount the winch plate. So I've got to come up with a solution here in order to get clearance so that I can actually mount the, the winch plate to the bumper of the Jeep. So I don't think this is so much an issue with the winch as it is just using a Harbor Freight Universal winch plate. One eternity later. All right guys, so it's been a few days and I ordered the spacers that I needed. Uh, and so these are the spacers. This is the one for the front, and this is the one for the back. And they just sit right on the frame and right on the bumper. And what that's gonna allow this to do is sit up so that the, the nuts that are at the, or the bolts rather, that are at the bottom of the winch won't be hitting this plate here and won't be sitting directly on the bumper here. And so it's going to lift it up just enough to clear that, and then we should be good to go. The other thing that I, I will say, and you were probably screaming at me while we were installing this, is I totally forgot to put on the negative lead cable, which goes kind of on the underside of the winch. And so as I was waiting for this and I discovered that, I had to take that apart, install the, uh, the negative wire to the winch, now that is installed properly, 
So now, hopefully for the final time, we can install the wedge. After getting the winch on the Jeep, I routed the positive and negative power cables under the back side of the grill, so they'd be in the right place after the winch was locked down. This time the winch plate mounted smoothly with just a little adjustments to the spacers with a screwdriver, everything lined up and was good to go. All right, the winch is on. Everything is nice and tight. That worked really, really well, uh, so that's good. Now I just got to get the, the positive and negative wires up through the back of the grill and over towards the battery. Shouldn't be hard, I hope. I used some paracord to drop down behind the grill and attach it to the power cables. This made it really easy to get everything back up behind the grill. I also know this battery is too small and I need to do some additional upgrades to the wiring, but it works for now. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Finally, a couple of zip ties to clean it up and it was all set. I, I think I have it installed. So let's test it out. All right, I think we got to engage it, turn on the Bluetooth remote, and that's out, let's try in. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's go see what we can winch. All right, wasn't exactly what I would call the fastest ride in the world, but it worked to get this on here fairly tight. It hauled my big behind up the hill. So there's that. All right, so this is actually perfect. I just got a call that there's a Jeep stuck just around the corner. And so we're gonna go help him out. All right, so I got a, a makeshift sh soft shackle for this. We're just gonna... Go right through there. Attach that. All right, we were able to rescue the Mashigan with the help of our custom soft shackle. I mean, it's just a grocery getter anyway, right? All right guys, I hope you had as much fun with this video as I did. I am super excited about this open road winch. Obviously Project Emo is not really ready for the trails just yet, but as soon as she is, we're gonna hit some off-road parks and we're gonna be putting this winch to the test, I have no doubt. So you'll get some long-term reviews coming from that. Also, I am super excited to announce I've got some swag store stuff going on. So there's a link down in the description below if you want a Simply Must Go shirt. I've also got some YJ stuff, like some Save the Squares and some Must Go Faster and some other stuff that's YJ specific. So if you're a YJ fan, you can go and you can find some swag there for you. Anyway, it just supports us a little bit. If you like this video, go ahead and winch the like button right off the YouTube page. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed. I have a huge goal 
of getting to 15,000 subscribers this year and I can absolutely do it, but I need your help. So if you would like to be a part of all this, hit the subscribe button, it helps out the channel a lot. And let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the Open Road Wench? I am, I'm really excited about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So until next time, God bless, and I'll see you on the trails. Hmm, wench, bring me my drink. <laughs>